Here is the architecture of Patch TST. I'll break it down into portions. Starting off, it's useful to identify here the input time series. So here might be the electricity uh, demand for different points along a week, evenly spaced. And here are the output predictions of the next uh, four points here. And as the name suggests, patch TST, there is patching involved in how this model works. Namely, it takes a bunch or a little patch of the inputs and it will pass them through a linear layer that combines them into a single vector. So there's one vector that ultimately represents a patch. And here, if we have this many inputs, which I think I have 18, that'll be converted, that's a patch size of six, into three, three vectors after going through the linear layer. Now there's also a position embedding added. What that means is we transform through trainable matrices, the inputs here into a single vector, but we also concatenate or add on a position. So this will say position one, position two, position three. And that numerical encoding for the position just gives the model a sense that there is an order to the data that is going in here. These vectors then are transformed uh, through transformer layers that include attention. So we have the input patch embeddings converted into the transformed patch embeddings. And all of these transformed patch embeddings are passed through another set of trainable matrices to then provide in one shot the output predictions for the number of set output uh, timestamps. Notice that this is all single pass. We are not passing back the outputs to the input and iterating around autoregressively as, it, as is done in language models. Also notice that there are no tokens. We have numbers here that are coming in. Yes, they may be normalized, but they're still continuous numbers. They are then converted into embeddings, which is still numbers. And the predictions that are made here are also going to be in the form of continuous uh, numbers.